Hello, today we're going to draw a pine cone. But before we do, I, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that when I say a pine cone, these are basically cones that come from all different species of pines. And each kind of pine tree makes their own kind of cone to hold its baby seeds until they're ready to be released, until they're mature enough to be released. And so each species has its own unique. Today, what I think we'll do is draw a white pine cone. Um, and a white pine, eastern white pine, Pinus strobus, has a cone that looks something like this. And this is after the seeds have emerged. So, one of the things that I think would be very helpful for me to be able to draw this is to take a photograph. And I'm just gonna take my iPhone and I'm gonna do a photograph that has almost all of the pine cone in the field of view. Then I'm gonna take as close up of a view as I can. I'm gonna look at the photo and then I'm gonna try to edit this photo and I'm gonna turn it to kind of a black and white. That way it helps me see where my image is darker and where it's lighter and how to cast the shadows in my drawing because I want my drawing to look as realistic as possible. And that's really the point of biological illustration. We're not artists, we're not creating a vision. What we're doing is trying to translate an actual specimen into a drawing in two-dimensional form so that we can highlight specific aspects of our specimen. And in this case, we're gonna start with a pine cone. Now, you might notice that I have my art supplies right next to me. I also have my pencil sharpener because I wanna keep my pencils really sharp throughout. And the pencils that I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna to be using a 4H and I'm gonna start my drawing by a 4H. The H indicates hardness, and so a high four, a high H, like a four, is a pretty hard pencil. So I'm gonna do a very light touch, and it's gonna come off very soft on the page, so I'll hardly be able to see it. Once I have my form completed, I'm gonna transition into other pencils, but I'll tell you that when I get there. But I think the hardest thing for some students to do is just get their pencil started on the paper. And so I'm going to just put a couple of marks on my paper. I want to cast the shape of my cone. I'm going to try to be doing this in actual size. And I'm just going to basically get the form and proportion down initially. I'm not going to add any detail to this but I want to see, okay, yep, I like that. It's got a twist, and there we go. And so now that I have a nice basic form, I'm gonna use a different pencil. And I'm gonna go with, um, there are two pencils that I like to use the most in this next phase. The first is an HB. And an HB is very similar to a number two. You have that at home, so you can just use regular pencils for this stage if you want. But I also like this 2B, and the B is like a softer lead. So as you get higher into the Bs, it's softer and harder. Again though, don't press hard with your pencil. Use a different numbered pencil to gain the color that you want of the lead. And one of the things we're gonna to need to do is sharpen our pencils often. I have this really handy electric pencil sharpener, but you don't need an electric pencil sharpener. You can use a handheld pencil sharpener as well. Just make sure you get a good brand. I personally like the Prismacolor brand because the actual sharpener inside is metal and it has these handy little cup here to capture the, um, the shavings. And so then you don't get them all over your drawing and you can then dump them out later. So as I draw, I'm gonna decide what is it that I see? And I'm literally just going to draw what I see. And I'm not gonna go 
and berate myself because I make a little mistake here or there. I'm just gonna start by drawing the scales of my pine cone. And the pine cones overlap and the way that you can show the overlapping is just to add a little dense shading to it. And as you draw, you're just going to be kind to yourself. And you're not gonna pass judgment on how good your drawing is because you're just observing. It doesn't matter initially. You can start over, you can throw this paper away, or you can just erase lines that you don't like. So the biggest thing that you need to do is just try to draw what you see. Draw each pine cone scale as you see it and let your pencil kind of do your talking. And in the beginning, what you will see isn't necessarily what you're gonna see at the end. So just kind of go with it for a while. And then when you get your basic form, then you can start putting the details and the shading in that will help you um, create a realistic looking pine cone. So from this point on, I think I'm gonna show you this in more of a time-lapse version so that you can see me drawing it and all the stages. It won't take long on the, on the video, but keep in mind this drawing, and I can tell you at the end how long it took me to actually do, but um, give yourself an hour to do a drawing and just see what you come up with. Okay. Okay, so I finished drawing my pine cone and I'm just gonna date it for Tuesday, January 19th. And I'm gonna put my name and I'm gonna put what it is, Pinus Strobus Cone. And we're done.